and we are live. Good morning, Zuckerberg. It is Friday, April 23rd. Wow, no wonder. It's a 23. No wonder so much weird paranormal shit was happening this morning. Anyway, I won't get into that. But uh, good morning. Hope you all are doing good today. Doing well. It is the end of the week, finally. Thank God. I was just listening to the new Coast to Coast that dropped on YouTube. Coast to Coast with George Nori. It was Journey to the Inner of the Earth or Journey to the Center of the Earth with that uh, blue chicken cult guy that he's got on there now. And I swear to God, it was like listening to a couple of two or three year olds spin yarns. Uh, George would ask him things like, and are there rainbow colored donkeys down there? Did you see any of those? And Emery's like, of course there's rainbow colored donkeys. And they jump around and fart out this noxious gas that could literally melt stone. We were attacked by a plant creature that grabbed one of our team members and so on and so forth. It's just, I mean, you have to go over there and listen to it. Leave a comment and uh, you'll see three or four comments by Frank Monday on there. One was uh, George asks Emery, and what was the strangest thing you saw down there? And he says, uh, there was a technicolored uh, a leprechaun in a technicolored tuxedo. He was riding around on a unicycle and he had uh, cowboy holsters with a banana on either side. And he'd yank out those bananas and yell, bang, bang, and out would shoot a laser. So George asks, and uh, was the laser neon colored? And we said, of course it was neon colored. It was, it was neon colored green. Uh, the left one was green and the right one was pink. And if the right one hit you, then it would leave a tattoo of Mickey Mouse on your chest. And if the left one hit you, it would vaporize you completely. You really have to be careful. And turns out this, this leprechaun was uh, head of a tribe down there and he was their top. So that's the kind of stuff that George Nori is hosting on Coast to Coast these days. Totally discredited. I guess it's a show on Gaia. And what absolute nonsense. What complete fantastical flippancy. If you want to enjoy something on the level of Saturday morning cartoons with a couple of real jokers, I, I don't even see how they keep a straight face as they say this stuff, man. The the guy, the that the Azure Easter egg guy that's telling the stories, he doesn't even look up. He's he's gotta keep his head down. He's like, oh my god, how can we do this? And uh I don't know, what are they doing? They're they're scripting for a new a new sci-fi a new sci-fi fiction TV show or something. I don't know. It was baffling. Truly baffling. And the the thing that really baffles the most is that they're trying to present this as some sort of reality. Talk about fake news, huh? We need a, uh, over at Dark Journalist, he, Daniel talks about it. He, he says there are three levels of conspiracy or disclosure information. One is the official narrative, which is probably pretty far from the truth. And then the other is the real journalism, the dark journalism, that looks at the underlying narrative and then the third level is the junk conspiracy, which is what these guys are pushing, just full on junk conspiracy. Because hearing the junk conspiracy, and it's so asinine and ludicrous that it will push you back to the mainstream narrative and you'll just totally ignore the actual dark journalism. Good fun. I gotta get over there and have my breakfast. Uh, glad it's the end of the week. 
Hope y'all are doing good out in happy land. And if you think I'm looking tired, it is, I, it's the end of the week. I'm done, man. I'm ready to take a couple of days off and relax. I love y'all good looking happy people. I will see you next time.